Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen.
with you. Also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints and all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Uh, please be seated for the lessons. A reading from the book of Daniel. In the first year of King Belshazzar of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head as he lay in bed. Then he wrote down the dream. I, Daniel, saw in my vision by night the four winds of heaven stirring up the great sea. And four great beasts came up out of the sea, different from one another. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was troubled within me, and the visions of my head terrified me. I approached one of the attendants to ask him the truth concerning all of this. So he said that he would disclose to me the interpretation of the matter. As for these four great beasts, four kings shall arise out of the earth, but the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm appointed today are portions of Psalm 149, which will be read responsibly by half verse. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let your children of Zion be joyful in their name. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with a tender heart. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. And the Lord is the Lord of victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful on their heads. Let the praises of God be in their own throat. And his great sword in their hand. To wreak vengeance on the nations. And punish them on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains. And to inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all the faithful people. Hallelujah. The read from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will so that we who are the first to set our hope on Christ might live to the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward the redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. I have heard your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power. God put his power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule of authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he's put all things under his feet and has made him the, breath, the head over all things for the church, which is the body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord.
Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. <coughs> Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that, listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you, and if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I offer these words in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. This is our All Saints Day celebration. It's a day for us to remember those who have gone before us, those who have been for us the light of Christ. Those who, when we look at them, we see in their face. We see in their smile, in their joy, in their encouragement, we see the face of Jesus. Those are the saints that we remember today. Now, we're saints by the grace and virtue of our baptism. And most of us didn't have any say in that happening. That just happened. They just told us about it afterwards. And we've been baptized. And we are one in Christ. And that makes us saints in God's kingdom. Today on All Saints Day, we, we pull back we pull back the curtain between earth and heaven. And we catch a glimpse as we remember those in our story who have gone before us and who were for us and are at this day the light of Christ. They are the ones who by their lives and by their actions and their very presence showed us what Jesus is in our life and in our world today. Now, I'm going to invite you uh, to take some time uh, this day and maybe in the week ahead of us to uh, remember those in your story that when you remember them, you remember the very face of Jesus. And you see the notion of the saints, the communion of saints and what that means for us. So I want you to do that. Today I'm going to take some time to remember one of the many saints that I carry with me. And, and I can hear their voices. I can see their faces. I can even feel that their touch on my shoulder. They're very real and very present to me. And I carry their memories with me to this day. And one of those is Mrs. McGee. Her name was Mildred McGee, but when I was young, we didn't call people Mildred McGee. It was Mrs. McGee. Mrs. McGee was my uh, first grade teacher at Woodlawn Elementary School in San Antonio, Texas. When I think about Mrs. McGee, and I think about many of the other saints that, that are part of my story, there's certain characteristics or certain traits uh, that I see with them in that one that overrides it is a sense of joy. A joy of, of living, of life itself, joy in small things, the joy that overcomes difficulties and hardships. 
You seem to have that sense of deep joy. And Jesus said, I want my joy to be in you and your joy to be full and complete. So we're within the realm of good Christian doctrine when we say these are people of joy. And we see that in them and they, they help us, give us an example of how we can live our lives mindful of that joy. Another characteristic they have is they were all people of laughter. And I'm not talking about boisterous, rah, rah laughter. I'm talking about they went through their day with a quiet sense of this is fun. Life is good. They had a sense of laughter underneath their voice, underneath their story. And it kind of gave everything a, a, a little bounce to it. But that sense of joy, that sense of laughter, and they were people who encouraged. They were always encouraging the likes of those of us who maybe need some little extra help here. And they would be encouraging to bring us along. There's a very positive sense of that. Well, Mrs. McGee and our in our first grade class at Woodon Elementary, I had another day with her, and that was Sunday. She was also my Sunday school teacher at Grace Presbyterian Church. So I had six days a week of Mrs. McGee. So she made a real impression on me uh, early on that I still carried with me. But one of the things that she did, uh, in addition to our time there at school, was that she invited us to come to her to our home. What a gracious offer. Well, back in those days, neighborhood schools you, schools, you could ride your bike and get around the schools and neighborhood, and that wasn't that big a deal. We knew where she lived on Donaldson Avenue. And her house was here, and she had a garage here, but she had a big screened-in porch area between the two. And in there were work tables and a kiln. And she invited us to come, and so a group of us guys were in trouble that day. We got to ride our bikes over there. And... Uh, what she would do is give us some clay to work with and how to mold and shape it. And if you weren't creative or have any great ideas, you could always use molds and you could make things that look pretty presentable. And you could paint them and put them in the kiln. They could glaze and do some more glaze again. And it's, it's, it was a wonderful, as I recall, uh, process of taking something out of nothing and making it really quite beautiful. But she kept pushing for to be creative. Do something that's uh, your own and expression. I didn't have any idea. I didn't have what, what, what to do. And so I thought about it and I looked at what some of my buddies were making or whatever. And I decided, okay, I'm going to make an ashtray. And why that was interesting is my parents didn't smoke, but I said, I'm going to make an ashtray. The reason I was going to make an ashtray, I think it'd be pretty simple. In my mind, I take a round piece of clay, kind of make it in a circle, lay it like this, and I could kind of put an edge around it like this. I think I could do this and then mash down in certain places because that would be make it like an asteroid, which I did. And we fired it and then we put some green paint. I have no idea the color. It was kind of off. But I painted it a green, fired it up, glazed it. It was whatever. And it was pretty ugly. I can tell you that. It was pretty ugly. Yeah, but Mrs. McGee, she, I can still remember her going, oh, I oohing and on about this creative piece here at Ashtray. Look at what, look at what Johnny Cook did. Right, that's great. Uh, but that encouragement for something that really was fairly mundane to be gentle. And it was really quite tacky, but I did it. And it was something that we all did. And we had a sense of joy of just being there with Mrs. McGee, who welcomed us into her creative art studio to be part of that. This is All Saints Day. You've got those people in your story that you can remember uh, who were the face of Jesus, the very light of Christ in your life. So today we give thanks that we're part of that communion of saints. Amen. Amen. Today, being All Saints Day, we're going to stand and renew our baptismal promises. Do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil and renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? I do. do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of the Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate 
was crucified and died in the spirit. He ascended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. Will you continue the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? We persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. We will proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ. We seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself. We strive for justice and peace among all people. And respect the dignity of every human being. I will not May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of sins, keep us in the eternal life by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Now the prayers of the people. Gracious and loving God in Christ, you have revealed the riches of our glorious inheritance among the saints according to the working of his great power. Hear our prayers on behalf of your whole creation as we say, Hallelujah. Sing to God a new song, sing praise in the congregation of the faithful. Gracious and Holy One, you have marked your church with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit and made Christ the head over all things for the church, which is his body. May the eyes of our hearts be enlightened to know what is the hope to which he has called us. Hallelujah. Sing to God a new song. Almighty God, you have raised Christ far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named. Guide all who govern that they may share in your work of blessing the poor, filling the hungry, and reconciling enemies. Alleluia. Sing to God a new song. Sing for the Wellspring of wisdom and truth, guide the people of this land in the election of officials and representatives, that by faithful administration and wise laws, we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Alleluia. Sing to God a new song. Sing praise to the congregation of the faithful. Ever present and compassionate God, you take pleasure in your people and adorn the poor with victory. Let your word of truth reach into all corners of the earth, that all who suffer and weep may rejoice and laugh. Alleluia. Sing to God a new song. Sing Christ the congregation of the faithful. Loving God, you bless our community with goodness and hope. Give us such regard for our neighbors and friends that we may do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Alleluia. Sing to God a new song. Sing Christ the congregation of the faithful. Eternal Holy One, you have put all things under your feet and are the comfort of all who pray. Hear us as we remember those for whom we intercede. We pray especially for Betty, Susan, Judy and Gary, John, Rhea and Larry, Kim and Robbie, David, Joyce and Bob, Dan, Tina, Janice and CD, Leslie, Jimmy, Kathy and Tony, and all those in need of prayer during this pandemic. Are there others? Mike. We also pray for those on our long-term prayer list. Doug, Stephen, Judd, Margaret, John, Donna, Kristen, Chuck, Martha, Adrian, Ward, and Gladys. Will, Kermit, Ivan, Dean, Ryder, Donald, Janet, Jean, Tom, Doug, the Jim Hines family, Jean, Vicki, Pat, Russell, Doug, Denson, 
Lil, Ryan Phillips and family, Myra, Francis, Rem, and Shirley. We pray for all first responders and all in the armed forces and for their families. Joe, Tim, Christopher, Brewer, Lewis, Patrick, Brandon, Ashlyn, Sarah Grace, Bernie, John, Cody, Hunter, Joey, Derek, Austin, Julian, Eric, Zane, and all in harm's way. Are there others? In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for our fellow parish of All Saints in Mobile. We pray that you weave our diocesan capital campaign into your kingdom and consecrate to your glory that which is given. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Church of England. We pray for all people affected by natural disasters and war. We do not cease to give thanks for your love toward us and for all your saints. Here are words of praise and gratitude, especially for the birthdays of Marilyn, Jackson, and Buster. You have raised Christ from the dead and seated him at your right hand in the heavenly places. May those we remember on this celebration of all saints possess the kingdom of forever and ever. We remember especially those persons, Kelly, Mary, Catherine, Joe, O.J., Maxine, Mark, Barbara, Gloria, Betty Lee, Leela, Rose, Duane, Cynthia, Maggie, Doug, Mary Frank, Faye, Martha, Paul, Pamela, Steve, Marilyn, John, and Doris. Alleluia. Sing to God a new song. Sing praise in the congregation of the people. Rejoicing with all the saints, we pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation as we come to know Him, and that Christ may be the fullness of Him who fills all in all, on earth as in heaven, forever and ever. Amen. Confession of sin, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God. We confess that we have sinned against you, in God, word, and in thee, by what we have done, and by what we have done from God. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we will not leave your hand. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may lie in your realm. And walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen your organs by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Yes. And so with you. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. Good morning. God's peace. God's peace. I don't block it. Peace. 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 Please be seated. Grace and peace to you on this Lord's Day. Welcome to the sunshine. We're on this side of the rain. I don't know whether Jan or somebody's going to talk about uh, all the thank yous that need to go out for all who worked on the trout fishing tournament and all the festivities around that. Uh, unbeknownst to those who were not here, you got all the setup and serving and then cleanup. So it's a three part operation, and we give thanks for that. And I'm sure there'll be a complete report on on the benefits and proceeds of all that. Uh, let us walk in love as Christ loved us and gave Himself as an offering and sacrifice to God.
thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. For in the multitude of your saints, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses that we might rejoice in their fellowship and run with endurance the race that is set before us. And together with them, receive the crown of glory that never fades away. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices, the angels and archangels, and all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. suffering and death. Our Lord Jesus Christ took bread and we had given thanks to you. He broke it and gave it to his disciples and said take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of After supper he took the cup of wine. He had given thanks. He gave it to them and said drink this all of you. This is my blood and covenant shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is God. Christ is risen. Christ is We celebrate the memorial of our redemptional Father the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity constancy and peace at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All of this we ask through your son Jesus Christ by him with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honor and glory is yours almighty Father now and forever Amen, Amen. Now the Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. 
Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. The earth for us, Jesus. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith. Good Thanksgiving.
eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. You fed us the Spirit of food, the sacrament of his body and blood. Set us down in the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you. For that is the sickness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the blessing of the God Almighty, Father, Son, Holy Spirit be among you this day and forever. to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.